The right light fixture can make a room, but finding it isn't always easy. We've got a great place to look in this week's Real Find. <laughs> Tom Powers of Boston-based Light Power has loved antiques since he was a boy. I've always been interested in these things um, that have history, that kind of lived a life before the life that they have now. He's worked in the antique business for more than 30 years, but has carved out his own niche. Lighting made between 1840 and 1940. His customers are mostly homeowners. People with antique houses might be interested in taking something that was from the period when their house was built and putting it, put it back in. Or somebody with a new house might be interested in an interesting fixture they can put in a room. Most of Tom's fixtures come from antiques dealers who don't specialize in lighting. About 10% come from customers. A lot of times people with an old house will have things in the old house that they're not interested in using in the house but they're original to the house and they can trade them in with us. Most of the lights he gets are in good condition, but some need to be tweaked for modern use. We sell a lot of gas fixtures uh, from the 1890s that were never wired for electricity. So we have to outfit that gas fixture with, ele with electric wires. Tom says tastes change, but people today want fixtures to show their age. Now you want to get a fixture that has its original patina. That's what people want. If you don't want something too ornate, Tom says you may like something like this, which costs about $1,725. The type of fixture that I think sells the best is a very resilient fixture, type of fixture. It's called an inverted dome. Um, and um, it's a very resilient style. It can go in a very modern house. It can go in a foyer. It can go, a large one can go in a dining room as well. If you're into rich detail, this one from the 1880s may be for you. And when I talk about getting a fixture that's in good original condition, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, these are really nice period deep etch shades, um, acid cut back shades, and the center cylinder um, on this fixture is, uh, was made by a company called Longwy in France. This fixture retails for about $5,000. Now for something completely different, one with a distinct 20th century look. It's a mid-century industrial fixture, probably originally in a gas station or in a lab or in a factory. And it's a style that is really emerging and becoming very popular. This one isn't as expensive. It costs $480. This is a silver plated arts and crafts fixture with etching on the cups and on the body of the fixture um, and it has five Steuben shades. Tom says there are pictures of fixtures like this one and books about the arts and crafts period of the 1920s. Now it's become a very popular period. People are buying and restoring arts and crafts houses and bungalows. This fixture would set you back $4,100. Tom loves all his fixtures, but a more practical reason made him see the light. The furniture got too heavy for me, so I specialized in lighting, you know. Moving bureaus around gets, it gets old fast. <laughs> light Power is located at 59A Wareham Street in Boston. The phone number is 617-423-9790, and the website is genuineantiquelighting.com. Com. Thanks for watching New England Dream House. I hope we gave you some good ideas. I'm Beth Shelburne. See you next time.